Hello guys, it's Taya Marin and I am back with this sexy date night tutorial so just stay tuned and watch how I create this look. I've already prepped my skin, I use witch hazel to clean my skin and then I have um, moisturized with Cetaphil and added um, Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to go in with my infallible L'Oreal Matte Foundation and just take my beauty blender and really pack it into my skin. I really want my skin to look flawless and very skin like so I'm just kind of layering it as I go. I'm not adding too much that way I can kind of build it on um, without it looking cakey. Way my blender is a little bit damp but I really really like to take my time with this process um, of blending the foundation because this truly is the most important part of the application. Most of the products that I'm going to use for this tutorial are from the drugstore, just FYI. But this is one of my most favorite concealers ever. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I'm just going in under my eyes, um, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead, and down my nose. Now I'm going back in with my Damp Beauty Blender. I like to switch from side to side just to get a really even blend. Once again, I take my time with this because I really want it to be even without any creases. And for those of you who ask, I have tried other beauty blenders, but in my personal opinion, none really come close to the actual beauty blender from Sephora. So unfortunately, it sucks to have to pay $20 for a sponge, but it really works. I'm going in with my black opal true match stick foundation and I'm just taking it around my hairline and along my cheekbone and along the bridge of my nose for my contour and then I also like to put a little bit under my lip this just gives the illusion that you have that cute you know pout type of look to your lips. I love this foundation because it really just it's so creamy and blendable and it really warms up my face the way I love it and I really want this to look very seamless and um, natural so I'm really just blending out any harsh lines as much as possible. I like to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blend out my nose contour and the way I do that is I just really just blend it out and take it all the way up to the brow bone. Um, I feel like this gives you a really nice illusion for a slimmer nose all the way down but it looks very very natural. And then I'll take my blender and kind of blend out those harsh lines just so it doesn't look crazy. After I've done my highlight and contour I like to set one time. Um, so I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I'll just um, spray that all over my face and let it dry before I go in and set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have tried so many other setting powders and just personally for my face, this is the best powder that I have used. I take it everywhere I go. It's a staple in my kit. I love using it on my clients as well. Um, but I do want to try some more powder. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them below. While my face is setting, I'll go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'll fill in my brows. I love a good natural looking brow, so I do very, very light brush strokes just in the direction of you know my natural hair. I have pretty thick natural brows, so I don't have to do too much. Um, so as you can see, I'm just lightly stroking any areas that you know are gappy that need to be filled, um, and then I'll clean it up with a little bit of concealer after. This is a really great affordable option in comparison to the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. It has a very tiny um, pencil that allows you more control when you are um, filling it in. Um, but it's very, very comparable to the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But I think this one is like $9.99.
Looking at my brows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I'm just taking it right under my brow bone. I'm not going to take it all the way to the beginning because I don't want to reverse everything that I did um, with my nose contour. I also like to use this concealer as my eyeshadow base so once I'm done cleaning my brow I'll just put a little bit on my finger and just kind of rub it all the way on my lid because I like the way my shadows blend with this concealer. All the eyeshadow shades that I'm using today are from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm going to start off with the shade Silk Cream. This is just a really good lid and transition color for me and my skin tone um, and for the look that I want to go for today. So I'm just taking a really fluffy brush and just kind of um, putting the shade all over my lid and adding a little bit of warmth to it. For my outer crease, I'm going in with the shade Pooter. Not really sure what's going on with the name, but I'll take it. It's a little bit darker than the transition color that I just put on. So I'm just adding this to my outer crease and blending it in. You really have to take your time with the eyes um, because blending is key. So as you can see, I'm just going in small circular motions and when I pick up any more color from the palette, I'll typically tap my brush um, just to make sure that there's no fallout and I'm not depositing too much color. I'd rather build up than add too much and you can't remove it. I switched my brush over to a blending brush that way I can deposit a little bit more color. So this is the same color in Pooter but I'm just using a different brush and you can see how different that color packs on. So I'm just still using the same circular motions and blending it out as best as I can. Now I'm just going to take my finger and add this really beautiful bronzy shade called SBN on my outer lid. Sometimes I just really like to pack on shadows with my finger. It's just easier sometimes and you really get less fallout and the color still comes up really, really vibrant. For the inner corner, I am mixing two different shades, Obsessed and Faint. It gives us this really nice rosy light pink. I like the transition from a lighter color to a darker shimmer, um, you know, from the inner to outer corners. I just really like the way it looks. Without adding any more color to my fluffy brush, I'm just going in and blending it out so there's no harsh lines between my transition color and my shimmers. So I wanted to smoke it up just a little bit so I'm adding this really beautiful cranberry color um, called Chip and I'm just adding that into my crease and blending it out. Now I'm going to take a different blending brush and take that same color, that dark cranberry color chip and take it all below my lower lash line and just smoke that out. I love to do this just because I really just feel like it adds a lot of boldness to any look that you're doing, um, adds a lot of drama and it just makes your eyes really pop. So whatever your eye color is, definitely want to choose a color that complements your eye color and I think this color the cranberry color looks really, really good with, you know, deep brown eyes.
Now I'm just going in and brushing off all that excess setting powder. In order to make sure that I'm not getting any flashback when I'm taking pictures, I'm going to go in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder and just add it to the areas that I previously just set with just a fluffy brush and I'm just using small packing motions to add that powder back into my face and give me more warmth. To set my contour, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Matte Waterproof Bronzer and take this really nice fluffy Morphe brush and just take it all around my face, my hairline, and my cheekbones. Now I'm going to go in with this MAC blush. I'm so sorry the color rubbed off, but it's like a rosy cranberry type of fall color. I love this blush and I wish I knew the name of it. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter. I've been using this highlighter for months and I can't get enough of it and the fact that it's five dollars just makes my heart happy. But I'm just going in with the Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals. Adding a little bit to my nose and some to, you know, the highlights of my cheeks. I don't want it to be too in your face with the highlighter, so I'm using a big fluffy brush um, to buff it out. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner and mascara for my bottom lashes. I do actually have on volume lash extensions, but if you don't want to get lash extensions, you can use Vegas Nay number 126 lashes or Ardell Double Up Wispies to kind of give you the same kind of volume for your lashes. Now I'm just going to line my lips with this Jordana lip pencil. Again, I don't have the name of this because it rubbed off the side. Um, but then I'm going to top it with my Milani Matte Lipstick in Innocence. And then with my Butter Gloss by NYX in Fortune Cookie. Here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys can see more videos that I have coming up. And follow me on Instagram at Tamarin Beauty. And I will see y'all later.